And when I woke up this morning, I was feeling pretty dangerous. But we're on to Cincinnati. It's my team. It's my quarterback. They are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. Hello? You play to win the game. They want you to cook the dinner. At least they ought to let you shop for some of the groceries. And on the way up, we're going to buy the kneecap off. You kidding me? Playoffs? I'm just here so I won't get fined. How can he not be romantic about football, man? Oh, my goodness. I still have a stomach ache from all of the food that I eat. <laughs> Welcome to Bench with Banana. Football's officially returned. So have the boys, Mohan. Justin, I bet you I ate about twice as much as both of you guys yesterday. I had chicken wings. Forget about chicken wings. I started the day with donuts. I had never had Randy's Donuts. If you're listening uh, from outside of Los Angeles, I don't even know if Randy's Donuts is a thing outside of L.A., but it is in L.A. and it is the best. Pretty famous. Perhaps the donut, the best donut I've had in my life. Okay. Uh, What flavor did you go? I got a bunch. And the donut holes, which I thought were just like a ripoff of Timbits. Like, that's what I was expecting in my head. Timbits are like a really small little munchkin. Yeah, well, Who's ripping who off? Out. We're not sure. We're not going to start a donut feud on this podcast. Donut holes are pretty big all over. Donut holes are like, yeah, pretty <laughs> decent size. No, no. I mean, no, like, no. the concept of a donut the hole. Munchkins. I don't think They're anyone stole though. that from anyone. They just exist. Okay. You know what? No, I'm because not, I'm the, not donut, a- the donut has this and has a hole in the middle, and then they We're poke the hole out of the middle, a donut and that's why it's called a donut hole. On this that's, podcast. That's, that's not how we're starting the first episode of week one, okay? That's not how we're doing this. Are we done? Is everyone settled on the donut feuds? I feel like you just weren't listening, but that's I had a lot of donuts. I had the sprinkle kind. I had the maple kind. I was not feeling good to start the day. Then I had chips and dip. I was I was all in. Listen, I'm missing a gallbladder. I was just like, I'm going to pretend that I have one today, and it's actually going to be able to break down food that I put into my body. Then I had chicken wings and fries, loaded fries, by the way. Those didn't make me feel good. Then I had more chips. Then I had mango, the like dried up mango covered in chilies. Um, And then I had dinner, which was salmon. Like this was me trying to like (laughs) bring myself back to life. What did you guys have? How was your day? How was your, how was the first, first Sunday of the year? Christmas, basically. Well, it was fun, except for the Titans suck, so yeah, that kinda, was sad and we hard. We already had an idea that that was Yeah, but they were at least supposed to beat the Giants. <sighs> no, not even a touchdown from Derrick Henry? I know. But good for Saquon. That's yeah, the positive Saquon, that comes out of that, right? Huge day. Huge day for Saquon. Mohan, how was your Sunday? My Sunday was not great. I was traveling back from a bachelor party, and I was stuck in the Charlotte airport, so I watched football on my iPhone mini. That's a tough. And uh, I'm not a big fan of airport food, so I didn't eat anything. What do you mean you're not a big fan of airport food? Airport food is basically like everything that you could possibly imagine at McDonald's. That's about it, actually. No. Char- what's in the Charlotte airport? Chili's to go. Panda Express. Yeah. And they're all foods that I don't want to be eating before a five-hour flight. Oh, yeah. That's a tough so. go. Are you a window guy or an aisle guy? Um, I'm a I'm an aisle guy because I go to the bathroom a lot. That's T- TMI. Yeah. It's TMI well, on this no. pod. See my own spot. Uh, guys, we're so excited for football to be back. It was so much fun to just sit there and watch the madness that is Red Zone. The first window gave us two overtimes, a whole lot of bad football, too. The Bengals. This is what is concerning me on this beautiful Monday. I got a text from my brother. And it's you have to understand, my family did not grow up watching football. We watched hockey, okay? We're from the boonies in Canada. Um, my brothers, they're artists, they're creative people. They, not that creative people can't be fan of sports, but they're just not. They don't watch football, okay? I get a text from my brother this morning and says, so I just wanted you to know that I am going to be a Bengals fan this year. And I was just like, why would you choose? Th-? He texted me this on Monday morning. So, wh- after what you just witnessed, for the first time you're signing up for a football team, it's going to be the Bengals after what you just watched? You're one year late. Your brother is one year late. Exactly. And I was like, dude, I don't know if the, I don't know. I was like, why? Why now? Why now? Why the Bengals? And he goes, well, I made up my mind on Friday and it's really just because I like their name. I like to say Cincinnati. It sounds good. You know what? That's why he's going to be a To each their the own. Bengals. I don't hate on that. And that's my family. <laughs> and that's your Can you guys believe what we saw, though, as soon as I saw Joe Burrow walk in, I don't know if you guys have his outfit top of mind, but I do. It was like a regular T-shirt. He looked like a normal guy. I was like, Joe Burrow's not going to play well today. 
Bengals are going to lose as soon as I saw his outfit because usually he's balling out. Usually he's got a crazy hat, the drip, the ice, the glasses. He was just like looked like Mohan. Actually, Mohan, you look dressier than Joe Burrow did on Sunday. That's the nicest thing we've ever said to me. So. Well, don't expect it to happen again. Um, I knew it was going to happen. It was a complete mess, but... We've got a jam-packed show today. We've got so many games and so many storylines to touch on. I opened my DMs, which, you know, everyone in my life said, you got to stop doing it, but I keep on doing it because I love to talk to people, and there's people that are very sweet, and you also get some weird stuff, too. (laughs) Uh, So I opened my DMs later to hear what you guys are freaking out about, what you're panicking about, what your secrets are, all those fun things, and then we're going to talk about um, the best and the worst things that we saw this weekend. There was a lot of of good, and there was a lot of bad, baby. And first things first, we have got one of my best friends, Sarah Tiana. She is on the brand new Amazon Prime show called The Pylon with Taryn Killam. Uh, it is going to be every single Wednesday to get you ready for Thursday Night Football. We are so excited to have her on the show. I'm going to ask her if there's some things that we are overreacting about in week one, because of course we are. Week one is the week for overreacting, right? Absolutely. You can just audibly say yes. Yeah. I said absolutely. No doubt about it. For no sure. No doubt about it. Without further ado, welcoming to the show one of my best buddies, comedian, great friend, Sarah Tiana. Hey, buddy. Sarah, you texted me this morning. You're like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready to be on a podcast. I'm like showing up to work. And I was like, let me go to my closet and make her feel more comfortable. <laughs> so I found this Bill Belichick sweater. Uh-huh. I got my flippy floppies on. Mm-hmm. This is a good look, right? We're in this together. Yeah, you are. You're like texting me like, hey, do you want to be on? I'm like, well, I'm dressed like a bumpkin, but sure. You look I'll great. totally like. You look. I'm, now I'm even seeing that my Max Fried shirt just clearly looks like I washed it with the wrong snow (laughs) soap i don't know no i didn't sleep in it which is something i know i've definitely i've done it too slept in stuff and then i've done it too this is so comfortable i'm wearing it into work i've slept in things and then showed up probably for this podcast still wearing (laughs) still wearing them listen when you when you present yourself in a certain way you just got to be comfortable and then you don't have to get crazy with your outfits or your makeup or anything and your life is easy but this is the crux of like podcast now where, like people ask you to be on a podcast you're like yeah oh wait is, is it, it gonna it be video? on video <laughs> why we gotta add video components why? to these things uh, okay so can we tell the people why you are here in this building yeah. you have a brand new show that you are on you're writing on can you tell me a little bit about it yeah it's called the nfl pile on taryn killam is the host uh it's basically it's on Prime Video to prep everybody for the Thursday night football game on Prime Video, mm-hmm. and it's a half hour comedy show where we have complete access to NFL Films and the NFL oh. Films archive, <laughs> and all the sweet uh, mic'd up footage that they have to offer us every week. And then on top of it, like we'll also be adding in lots of fun videos that we find just on Twitter and Instagram mm-hmm. and like just really dive into I can't wait the comedy of these athletes this yeah. is great I can't wait we have a group chat with our other friend Megan <laughs> Gilly and we're just constantly sending each other ridiculous things mm-hmm. back and forth so I can't wait for you to have access to all of these things and make mm-hmm. some more fun things out of it okay so you are on this show for the very first time this is week one mm-hmm. okay we are doing two episodes a week this is just full throttle now so I want to play a little game overreaction <laughs> or maybe underreaction or right reaction okay so we're going to go rapid fire through some of these topics. Uh, they're all based off of the games that we saw in week one. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. The Chiefs are going to be fine. Why were we saying that they weren't? Everyone was worried about this offense because no Tyreek Hill. Patrick Mahomes threw it to just about every single person on the field that he could have possibly. I wouldn't have been surprised if he threw it to somebody in the stands and they caught a touchdown as well. They're going to be fine. They're probably going to end up in the Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes MVP. Overreaction or underreaction? Uh, I think that's an overreaction because it's a very long season. And I think if there's anything the Chiefs have taught us is that they are very good out of the gate and then they can be slowed down once people figure out their scheme. So Mm -hmm. I think that's the only thing to ever be cautious of when it comes to the Chiefs. Mm -hmm. Also, um, you know, Mahomes' wife and, you know, they're pregnant again. And I have this whole theory that whenever – athletes are about to have a baby yes. they're just a little bit more distracted i mean tom brady went through what like a 10-year slump when he was having kids <laughs> it is that's a, like he it was like you know no, was it? no like, i've seen i've seen it you're right 
So it happens. Okay. And like. So get in the underhand passes while you can. Do mm -hmm. the behind the backs. Make it all fancy. Have fun. But okay, overreaction. I like that. I think it's an overreaction. Uh, what about the Colts? <laughs> Are they maybe the same team that we just said? They, they picked up exactly where they left off. Losing against the Jags. Missing out on playoffs. Now they've got your former quarterback yes. as a Falcons fan and Matty Ice. Are they going to be bad this year? I don't think they're going to be bad. I think they just have to figure it out. I think week one is a really tough time because this is the first time everyone's going full speed. Exactly. And you got those speed. game day jitters. Yeah, yeah. Full speed for Matt Ryan is about as fast as, you know, a sloth. So, <laughs> like, I think uh, I think it's an overreaction to say that they're the exact same team. Although Carson Wentz looked a lot better than he did last year. So, when he was with the Colts, he didn't look that good. But this year with the Commanders, he's looking better. So Speaking of, Carson Wentz <laughs> is going to be good this year. 313 yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions. Are the Commanders going to be like an actual team? Like I feel like everyone's kind of been just like, you're dealing with your name change. You're dealing with your quarterback change. I don't know what's going on over there. Is uh, Should we actually be paying attention to this team? I think so. I think it's always I – th I think whenever a team is um, – is not looked at, I think that's a great place to be playing from because you have nothing to lose. You have no expectations. You can only go up. It's like my favorite thing about comedy. It's like whenever people come to my shows and they're like, oh, we came to see you. And I'm like, great. Oh. Now you're going to expect me to do good. You yeah. know, if it's in front of people that I've never met, I'm yeah, like, yeah, oh, I'm going to slay this oh, because I, I have that. nothing to lose. But, you know, so, yeah, I do think the commanders are going to be good. Okay, this question is specifically for you because, as I mentioned, you are a Falcons fan. Is the Super Bowl hangover a real thing? Because we saw the Bengals come out this weekend, mm -hmm. and they looked pretty gnarly. <laughs> Joe Burrow specifically. You are a Falcons fan, famously the yes. Super Bowl that we don't need to talk about. We don't need to talk about. No, no, we can talk but about it. But then the season after that, you guys were – we don't need to talk about that either, but is the Super Bowl hangover a real thing? No, it's real. It's yeah. very real, and I think, you know, you had maybe the longest season of anybody else, so your team is just that more tired because mm -hmm. you played one extra game than everybody else. Uh, the expectations are a lot higher, so the pressure is on you, even though people, you know, teams rarely ever repeat, so I think the Super Bowl hangover is real, and it's definitely happening to both the Rams and the Bengals. Oh, both of them. Uh the Green Bay Packers mm -hmm. are bad. Is that an overreaction or an underreaction? Devontae Adams, who's famously gone now, outperformed the entire Packers wide receivers by a lot. Mm -hmm. Are they going to be bad? Yes. Okay. They're going to be very bad. Hmm. Do you think it has anything to do with Aaron Rodgers or do you think it's just like he has absolutely nobody to throw to? No, I don't think it has anything to do with Aaron Rodgers. Although, you know, I think he could be a little bit more. I don't know how present he is. Ah, the you know ayahuasca I mean? took him to a different <laughs> island and he's still there. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know the internal workings of the Packers. Uh, and I don't think the Packers know the internal workings of the Packers. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't expect them to be. Um, I think there's a new king of the north, shall we say. <gasps> okay, a couple more and then we'll let you go. We are going to see Jimmy G before week four. Is that an overreaction? In Dallas? I don't know. Just <laughs> playing for the 49ers. Are we going to see him? Is Trey Lance going to say adios? Or is he going to go to the Cowboys? I don't think Dax Trey Harris. Lance is going to say adios. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, I think the 49ers are so invested in this. Making this work. Making this work. And I think that is absolutely a Kyle Shanahan problem is like making things you know trying to fit a square peg into a round hole constantly but mm -hmm. it's like saying though no, I'm right I'm right mm -hmm. this is right and it's like you could also just be wrong mm -hmm. and like just go play back the to guy work. play the hits play the hits <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong. I mean, I mean, I think by Debo wanting to be out of there, I think that shows you exactly oh, no, the problems internally with that team. Okay, the last one, and we were texting about this yesterday. Is everything bad and doomed and the Browns are going to be good this year and win over eight and a half games? Overreaction? Yeah, that is a complete overreaction. Great. I love, they are I love not that. going to be I love good. That. They I beat just Carolina. Feel like, <laughs> I get it, but everyone I feel like is going to give them that extra oomph, and they have they they have this mentality backs against the wall. I am going to give you all of my oomphs. 
You know what I mean? You know, it's there's hard. a lot of really talented guys on yeah, that. Yeah, it's team. hard because I mean, I went to Georgia, so like Nick Chubb is like my guy. You Nicholas, know what I mean? Nicholas, we when, love. When Gurley got suspended, <laughs> uh, you know, everybody had shirts that said "I'm a Gurley girl," and then Chubb came in as the backup, and everybody changed it to "I'm a Chubby girl," and it was like my favorite, one of my favorite seasons ever for the Bulldogs. But like. I think there's so many great guys on that team, but I think they are completely overshadowed by the distractions off the field. I and, agree. you know, I mean, I think they would have played Bishop, Bishop Sycamore just as hard as they played Carolina. So <laughs> I, I do have a very easy schedule, though. So I'm just saying prepare for things to be bad, folks. OK, and one last thing before you go. Can we play? Can we bring the tabloids in? It's time for Benched Buzz. We're bringing you all the hottest goss from the NFL world. Let's go live to our feature correspondent, Rachel Bonetta. Giselle tweeted about Tom. Oh, no, she did? Is everything all good? She said, go, go Bucks, go Tom Brady last night for the Sunday Night Football game. Mm -hmm. Are they going to be okay? Overreaction? I mean, I think a lot of... Are we just taking one tweet and being like, oh, thank God, it's over. Oh, they're going to be okay. I mean, I think they've lasted this long uh, (laughs) with all of the ups and downs and challenges that come with that. I think it all depends on if he really does retire this year. I think it's all hinging on that, and that's what it's always been hinging on. And he continues to change his mind and cheat on her with the NFL. Oh, no. You heard it here first. (laughs) Ian Rappaport saying prepare for this to be his last season. So maybe it is. And they're just going to have a tumultuous year and they'll be smooching while he lifts the Lombardi. Weren't we already preparing for this to be his last season? Yeah, I don't know why. Either, either. But it, now it feels, I guess, a little bit more official. Sarah Dion, everybody. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Big thanks to Sarah for joining our show. Coming up on Benched with Benetta, I do the unthinkable. I open my DMs. This is a safe space. (laughs) Tell me your deepest, darkest secrets. DMs now open. I missed this segment. I really did. By the way, Mohan, why were you just on a beach and now you are Ian Rappaport? No. What's going on with that? Play hard, work hard. Hmm. You know, I just really, this is maybe one of my favorite additions to the show this year is that Mohan's in front of a green screen. And at any moment. Don't tell them that. At any moment. We can change it to whatever we want. Graver, you're in charge of this. What kind of things do we have access to this year? I, I was voting that if Mohan ever says anything Mohan-esque, we could put him in jail. <laughs> Mohan-esque. Which is, gonna, this is, which is just going to be a delight that I'm going to have a button. Go to jail! Literally whatever you're, you can imagine, My heart we desires? can put Mohan there. Mohan, where do you not want to be? Because that's where we're going to get. I'm not We could put you like beside Spider-Man. Cool. That's like your dream. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> he sounds really excited. <laughs> well, that's going to be something that we uh, have a lot of fun with this season, I'm sure. Okay, let's open some of these DMs. I read as many as I possibly could. I love opening the DMs because people send a lot of things, and I read a lot of really nice messages from people who are listening to the pod and also some crazy ones. So without further ado, <laughs> let's hear them. The NFC is one of those one-day roller coasters built by carnies at the local fairs that <laughs> yeah, just don't really know what's going to happen each time you get on. Tune in. Do you do you go to fairs? Like, would you even... I used to go... I'm from a very small town. The Orno Fair was something that I used to go to all the time. And I'd get on these rides. No shot as a 30-year-old. I am entering the premises and getting on one of those rickety... Like WD-40, they're probably using WD-40 to get those things moving. There's some, like, high school kid who doesn't care operating the machines. Does not care. You could possibly, you could possibly die. And that is what you could possibly do while watching the NFC as well. There was so many. Are the Vikings, okay, I know last week all these people were saying Kirk Cousins for MVP. Irv said it on uh, our Tuesday preview show on game day morning. I think Kyle Brandt came out the very next day on Good Morning Football, said Kirk Cousins for MVP. Are the Vikings a team that we need to, like, Justin Jefferson, friend of the pod, absolutely balled out yesterday, caught both touchdowns that Kirk Cousy threw. Um, this is a, this might be a thing that we have to keep our eye on, the Vikings being good this season. And Rodgers called him after the game the best player in the game today. I know. I saw is, that. That was so awesome. 
I think the Vikings are, obviously, this win over Green Bay sets them up huge to just control the NFC North for the whole season. But, but the I, Bears won, too, unexpectedly. I know. What is the NFC? The Giants won. <sighs> is this just like over week one overreaction? I mean... The Rams, the Cardinals, there are so many. Like, who's who's going to lead the NFC? Who are we going to be? Who's going to be left standing at the end of this season? There, it's Brady. really, really up in the air. This is like everyone's saying, oh, AFC is so much fun to watch. Yes, of course, because there's so many incredible quarterbacks and teams and offenses and defense. But the NFC, I feel like, is the bigger question mark. And that's the more that's the more chaos that I quite enjoy. I think the biggest overreaction. The Lions almost won yesterday. Yahoo! The biggest of reaction the NFC is definitely um, the 49ers losing. Oh, they you played... think so? It's hard to listen, guys. They were in like literally pounds and pounds of rain. Yeah, and and people are saying, oh, they should play Jimmy G, but you didn't do all of that to get Trey Lance to bench him after one or two. I, I say you give him five games. Who do they play next, the 49ers? And at least give him a game that's not in a torrential downpour. I mean, it was like literally underwater. How can you even evaluate what he is as a quarterback in exactly. that in those kind of they conditions? They play the Seahawks in week two. That's Ooh. an easy win. Yeah, and well, then the Broncos and then the Rams. It's going to be an interesting couple of weeks for Trey Lance. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I'm rooting for him. Uh, okay, what's next? Justin Herbert might be your daddy, but Khalil Mack is Derek Carr's. This is a good joke. Justin Herbert is my daddy. This uh, this no longer hurts me, okay? I'm a Chargers fan. Uh, check in week one. Feeling great. Feeling great about it. Got our first dub. Uh, I did think that the Raiders were going to win, but I'm not going to tell you if that was a reverse jinx or not. It wasn't. I thought the Raiders were going to win. I was kind of true. Well, when it was 24-19 and the Raiders had the ball late in the fourth quarter, Whoa. I was like, here we go. Chargers about to Charger. Devontae Adams is going to make his mark and go catch a game-winning touchdown. And then Khalil Mack said, I don't, I think, don't so. think so. <laughs> it's going to be really fun to watch him not on the Bears. Yeah. You know what I mean? Motivated Khalil Mack. Uh, okay, what's next? Football in week one is the equivalent to putting on underwear inside out while half awake at 4 a.m. But you don't realize until the afternoon. But at that point, you continue to ride it out anyway. Sounds like something Mulholland would do. I will say, well, sometimes when I'm out of it, oh boy, and I t- and you're showering and you t- and you put shampoo on your body and body wash in your hair, get the jail ready, and then get you don't the jail ready, and then folks. you don't you don't realize until the end of the shower. I was like, oh no, I put body wash in my How hair. How do you realize at the end of the shower? What would tell you that? Because when you have the shampoo and if I accidentally put it on my body, I put the shampoo back and I look at it and I'm like. Wait a minute, that's not body wash. Okay, but correct me if I'm wrong. Ben, men are psycho. Like, you guys would wash with conditioner. Like, you guys just don't... Well, no, I have it. That, you're like, you as long as I'm clean. Yeah. I think it's one thing to use shampoo and then just, like, take it down as body wash also. But I putting sh- body wash mm-hmm. in your hair, that's probably... I mean, that's a little... That's too much. That's a lot. Well, some some things have three in one, so you'd think that which is psychotic. <laughs> three, in like one. there's ladies in the. Could you guys imagine using a three in one in the shower? Everyone's like, no. It's just I don't Why know. Why would I buy three different products for something that can come in one bottle? That Do I you can wash and conditioner out? your hair? You don't. You just like shampoo. You I condition. Good for you. Thanks. Good for you. Respect. You don't. I don't condition. With those curly locks. Yeah. Gotta keep them curly. It's getting weird. Close the DMs. It's got down the wrong path. I don't want to know your showering habits, Mohan. And I already know too much. I already know too much. DMs uh, closed. Thank you very much. We will open those back every Sunday. So if you got a little secret that you want us to talk about on the show, also they're anonymous. So like, why not? Tell us weird stuff. We got some weird stuff last year, and it was very entertaining to listen to. Time for a break. Coming up around the corner. Best thing and the worst thing that I saw this weekend. Don't go anywhere. He's the best. Okay, a couple of things here. Starting off with the worst. I like starting off with the worst and then ending on a good note. What are the worst things that I saw? I don't know if you guys caught this, but there were a bu- there were like two rows of cars at the Miami Dolphins game that caught on fire. I guess somebody left like what, a barbecue running? Did the propane explode? Could you imagine leaving a football game? But you want, you can be Bill Belichick, you're probably in a pretty good mood uh, if you're a Dolphins fan. 
and you come out and your car is burnt to the ground. I would have so many questions. You could see like the plume of smoke inside the stadium. Was that not the craziest thing that we saw on Sunday? That it was. I would totally trade my team winning for having a car not be on One, fire. You would think. Yeah. Yeah. 1,000%. Also, Note to who, everyone tailgating, turn off your grills, I have please. so many questions about this. Did you leave your grill out when you went to the game? That's weird. Lots of drinking going on yeah, at tailgates. probably wanted to make kickoff. You gotta put your stuff away. People don't make smart decisions. Oh, this just reminds me, every time I have to change like propane in like a barbecue or a fireplace, constantly worried about it exploding even though i don't i'm pretty sure that's like almost impossible uh it's pretty possible don't tell me that i'm like driving around with it in my car <laughs> is it no just like when you're attaching the hose to the tank you got to make sure that that is an airtight seal or else you could be in for no a i know day. obviously i'm making sure it's closed and stuff like that but i mean like i i literally just try to like keep it like so level while i'm like carrying it it could be completely empty too and i'm like oh everybody back up Stay away! This thing could blow any minute. And I realize that's probably a dumb thing to do. But maybe not now. I don't know. Be it's safe. worth being it's cautious. better to be safe. Yeah. Put away your dang barbecues, people. This was absolute bedlam. Uh, the second really bad thing that we saw, we haven't talked about it in the show yet, was just Dak getting hurt and having to have surgery. And now he's going to be out for multiple weeks. Not only did Cowboys fans have to watch the game last night, they had to watch Jason Garrett <laughs> on the coverage oh, who yeah. did not know how to stand on television. This was him just <laughs> like Arthur fists the entire time. It was just bizarre. And then you lose and then Dak goes down. Gosh, I just feel really bad for him. Yeah. Mike McCarthy said the Cowboys will make a move. Is Jimmy G going to Dallas? Oh, well, that's what Sarah was saying earlier on the yeah. show. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of love that. What else do they do? They kind of they got to do something. They got twenty million in cap space or something close to that, so they, <gasps> it could happen. When will that happen? This week? Hopefully not before this show streams. Hopefully not. <laughs> if this has happened, ignore just fast forward. Well, for all those people that are saying Trey Lance isn't good, would they have to play Jimmy G? Why would the Niners give away? Yeah, that's Jimmy a G that's then? a tough after like the first week of Trey Lance being like all we heard in this off season was, was like forget about what you saw last year in Trey Lance. Like yeah. in the off season, you know George Kittle was like. Just wait till you see this guy. And then first week, albeit it was raining, all of these other elements coming into play. His first week, week one, jitters, all of that stuff. I don't know. I'd be like, I kind of want to keep Jimmy G around to see how this shakes out a little. Yeah. I don't know because they didn't ever – like the plan was never to keep Jimmy G around. Are they going to panic after one game? I guess not. Anyways, Dak, we're sorry. That's a bummer. Yeah. Cowboys fans, we're sorry. Do we feel bad for Cowboys fans? Yeah. It's okay. Uh, let's talk about the best thing. Uh, first things first, as soon as Mohan sat down in this chair, I hadn't talked to him. Well, no, I texted you after the Browns won. Um, but that 75-yard pass from Baker Mayfield, what a dime. We're not going to talk about all the other ones. And he had a nice rushing touchdown up the middle. Ooh, he's, saw that. He's got it. Saw that. His Still arm got works. His legs Still got works. it, baby. Still got it. Uh, well, I, what I really want to hear is uh, the post-game presser. I think he had some things to say about our guy, Nicholas Trubb. A big hug from Nick Chubb. That Nicholas Jamal Chubb gave me a big hug. It felt good. Um, would have liked to have been on the other side of that hug, but uh, no, it, it's good to see some of your best friends. We knew that they were still besties. Listen, I don't want to get it twisted. We, I'm no longer a fan of the Browns, but there are still guys on that team that I really like, including Nick Chubb, um, and it makes me really sad. I think we both got uh, – Nick Chubb like posted something like, I'm Batman, because he loves Batman video before, and Mo and I said it to each other, and we were like – sucks I yeah can't cheer for this guy anymore. Mm -hmm. uh also we can't show it to you i don't know what is going on in this video brian dable just dancing in the giants dressing room like an absolute maniac is one of my favorite videos from this weekend he just seems so happy another great thing there's just the bears in the rain it's just like football's great these guys are just like kids having fun uh mike mcdaniel getting the game ball um all of these moments were just uh, Football's back, you know, brings a tear to my eye. Uh, guys, that's it. That's our week one show. Uh, did I mention that we have two episodes per week now? So tune in again on Friday. We're going to be talking about the upcoming week two games. Uh, and it's going to be a real good time. We're going to have more guests on this show this season. We're going to be talking drama. We're going to keep our, keep our eyes out for any Giselle and Tom movement. You know, that's what we do on this pod. 
Uh, oh, check this out. NFL Plus is the league's new exclusive video streaming subscription service. NFL Plus has your game day covered with live, local, and primetime regular season and postseason games right on your phone or tablet. NFL Plus is available in the NFL app and at NFL.com. Subscription plans start at just $4.99 a month. Fans can visit plus.nfl.com and sign up for a free trial of nflplus.com. And don't forget to watch us on YouTube. This whole show, the whole thing that you've just been listening to is all on YouTube. You can see Mohan's ridiculous background. He's just in Ian Rappaport's office. Should we send this to Ian and be like, this is weird. Do you want to cease, cease and desist situation? Mohan, can you break some news? You're in the news breaking chair. You got anything for us? Just on nah. Thanks, Bill. That was a good was, Ian impression. Yeah, that that tried, was really good. Yeah. Uh, and a reminder, if you are listening, the podcast streams live on the NFL channel every Tuesday and Friday. So don't forget to subscribe to our show. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Bench underscore pod to see the videos and clips that we talk about each week with your own eyeballs. We love you. Enjoy the football this week, the Thursday nights, the Monday nights. We didn't even talk about Russ's outfit on Monday night football. Okay, no thoughts. Great. That's okay. Sounds good. Maybe next time. We'll see you on Friday morning, guys. Love you.